let's I figure that we're leaving off where we were the last time uh which is um a number gimel I think that's what it is number gimel on page Tafresh Kof Tess. All right, let me get over here. Take a look at number Gimel, because we did 20 and 21 on the notes. So now, playing with these glasses in small print. Yeah, there we go. Number Gimel. Bor Yaakov, said, Befirusho Rishon, according to his first peerage. <clears throat> Beer, so he explains, the Fidarko. Shadikno Kolelis Yudbe Spheros. Here's a new idea. Shayesh Milamala the Mata that goes from the Mala Mata to Shayesh Milamata the Mala. So he has two sexes of six, is what he's saying. It's how, you know, where are we talking about this? But the Vizer of Abira become Belush and Huta. So because of this, he has six up, six down. Uh, we had used the word Huta, thread. Now why? They, they still remain, all the 12 different spheros of the beard remain like one thread. So how is that? So that's tell you some of the nature of it. So that's why it's white. Now I don't see why it is that all of the hair is going up and going down, those six and sixes. Why we say that they're like one thread. Chuta de Chivura, so going back again, it's a, it's a white thread. Uh, so he says, um, uh, the Hainu, so this is the secret of the development. Hayud base, Echad the Echad, corresponding to each other, one goes up, one goes down. The, uh, uh, so Echad the Echad, she hey Chuta, so that it becomes like, a, a thread, and it, frankly, I can't picture it offhand. So Yehuda, then it says it's white. So loven barachamim, because of that, we could say that v'chud so loven vav. So it's a like loven, and then it has this le- this word vav, this letter vav. Number twenty two is over here. Chut bechesed gomor. So it's chut with complete chesed ad kan. Now. My question was, it still remains, so exactly uh, how that worked, I'm not sure. So let's go a little bit further down and see what we can see on number Kofbet, if it helps us any. So so maybe, excuse me, the Chodosh. So maybe it's over there. Shachachut besod os vav, that the chut itself is in the form of a letter, the letter vav. And he spells it vav vav vav. Oh, this is a romance. They are a So he wants to say that this is a rev. The left rev. Anpin shuhu loven a He is the whiteness that we're talking about of mercy. The zel the shel nechab bechu betoch the varav yisecha bechut. The zarka. So zarka is some kind of a tom that goes up above the letters. I think. The who erekanpin. He says the zarka which. I'm not for really familiar with these things. I'm sorry. He chut the zarko, the ihu Eric Anpin bailovada. It was Eric Anpin, and then he says bailovada for for certain husband. Who's he talking about? So he said vavaricha, and so it's. I guess he wants to say that it's it's why he said bailo. So we have to have a. A bailus. So what, what is it? Is the bailo vada? So it says certainly the a vav, and so the vav itself is is masculine. It's a long vav adkan. Uh, so there's just this note here. We're talking about this chut, and he says ulai romes the uh, inyan chut shall chesed that we talked about before. That when you say kriyishma, excuse me, uh, kri, uh, yeah, kriyishma lalamita. Or you wake up at at Sos at that time, uh, and a chutz shel chesed is extended down to you. But this is very vague; it's just the use of different kinds of terms. But I have questions, and and uh, exactly, uh, we're still waiting for more elucidation. Go on number dollar. Beer sheni kaseh b'or yaker. Here's another explanation. Shami zechadukoy al shor shadikna. So here we're talking about the root. 
of the beard. That incorporates what? What is this now? He says the koi al shorish the root takes in all of the rest of the dikna kamo chut echad like it's one chut. So once again, this seems like a little stretch, and he says that this is the, what he says. That this white thread is what incorporates everything else because remember he used the word here shorish. So that somehow they all come out from this. Sheinya the chut who stam mitzios klalos as a kan. To the chut just re- refers to the general, the beard in general. He says klalos as a kan. And all of them are really rooted, are incorporated in that root. Haosif uh, kulum which gathers together all of them. Now it sounds like it comes. I don't know what haosif. Kulam that brings them all together. I think he thought he was saying that they're inside of it, or it, yeah, it's the root. Adkan Ein Sham Gam Lechalon. He's going to get into more. Let's just move real quickly through these. Number Hey and Vav, he says, uh, he says, Hey and Vav, Vishnei Biuri Hamari Sruk, he says, Beinid Chuta Rivar, and he wants to say that they're out there. Shuchuchud Lavan Savid Pesichas Aizen, that was what he talked about. This is a white thread. That surrounds the opening of the ear, as savi pesichas upon him, and then oh, or excuse me, excuse me, or savi pesichas upon him. It goes around the opening of the opening of the face. So we had that idea before that there's a section of the face in the middle that is surrounded by the beard. So he said pesichas upon him, re ale. So we talked about that in beer azor chai. He says he also has sight reference on that. So now he comes to the conclusion of this little piece right now, and he said, uh, bibir lushen kivura. Let's talk about what do we have when we say the word kivura. He said, That's where we're at right now. So all of the hairs of the beard of Eric Anpin are white, kitsem are like, like uh, wool. So who who so he yosem saaros the bonos? Why did they say chutas hivara? Well, hivara means white. Ad kan. So really trying to still understand what chut means. But Rei began by favorish at a sulam. What the sulam says? She older the yoged chut loven. It goes up. It goes down. This white thread, Misavid Panav around his face, Kolomer, Jazakan Bechlalo, that the book that inside of that are incorporated, and that is the beard itself. Uh, it's not the beard as a root, or I don't know what he means. He, you know, it's some kind of kolo that brings it all together, which sounds like one of the Maslows. Nirkhubachut Lovan, and it appears like it's one thread. Im Shel Saaros, or let's say Shel Saaros. Levanos of of uh, of white hair. Shemesavas shemavevas upon them. They go around. So somehow he's telling me my my view of the beard is is that there's a bunch of little parts of it. He's saying that the beard itself is like a white line. So uh, it goes around the face. So okay, there's another idea. Let's go on to a new section. But place and misparish. So we had this idea here. He says six up, six down. We said over there in the be- or yaka really wasn't uh, that the beard is a twelve plus a shorish something like that. But it's a six up, six down. We've had some ideas about that and how it works because we have been naming the makifim. Possibly, I'm not sure. So in number hey, it says is that a beer inyan but place or misparish. So in regards to this, this number thirteen, he says explains. The Rats Lama was he want to say the Af Al Gav that even though the Kol Hadigna Nichlal Yachad Kuchut Echad. So that's a little bit more. He says that it all oh, it comes comes together. It's so together like it's one thread. If you looked into it, maybe you got a, an atomic microscope and you looked into it a little closer. You would see that there's individual hairs there. Maybe that's what he means. Im calls that with all of this, though. Moving on, moving right along. With all of this, he said, Miss Parish and Miss Chalik, 
the shlosha asa tikunim. But even so, no matter how you say it, it comes out to to be thirteen tikunim. But you'd give him makomas in, in thirteen separate places. Shonim abedigdecha hanikra yakira. So with the beard, which is now called yakira. So I had to look. I look over the word yakira. So it does mean kavadik, but it also means precious. It's a precious kavo. So maybe. There's just a little note down at the bottom, and I don't remember what it was. So he says, So he says, Exactly what is he talking about? I'm not sure. Let's go on to number base. Number base says, the or yakar. So we're back at the or yakar again. Shum, beer the feed darker one now. We've been talking about it. Shadik the kolalas yud base spheres ein shum, but the zera bobocha the lacha the boy yerkan od sheim hakolo heim yud gimel. No, bezel the shun the be yud gimel mis parshim. So this one it says it spreads into thirteen. So the yud base for hakoyach. And also, he says, there's Yud Beit. But now he's used a different idea. He says, V'chakoyach ha'kolel shehim Yud Gimel. And then there's also a koach within them. That, I guess, that incorporates them. And that's the, that's, that's the 13th. So he says, there's another, there's a koach. I, I, I'm taking it as panimi to them. V'betoch kalulusach v'nechloch in the Yud Gimel. And since they're now all together, then they're incorporated, they're divided into the 13. That's it. And then 12 branches. And now, so look at what he's saying over there. So that's the waiting for the, I'm waiting for the big breakthrough, but I'm still, we're still going. Number Gimel, he said, Bepir's Marie Saruk, so here we come to Risaruk now. Beer Kamvazel Lashona, but Placer, Misparsh Biyakira. So he says, within 13, it spreads, Misparsh, it spread, Biyakira in its glory, let's say. But Sonalom Biki, Min Chutakivara, from that place called the Chutakivara, Zechashel Adam Kadmon, Shehoya Bechu Bekoyach Yud Gimel Tikunim. Now, let me read again. He said, min chut chivar from that white thread. Now, he was talking about Adam Kadmon, Ak, we're way, way, way back. Shuhu, uh, bo bekoach, so he had in potential, there existed, hayud gimel tikunin, the 13th tikunin. So in that thread is the, uh, the, is the potential, I guess, that everything else is going to come out. Yardu namata, so it goes downward, misparshim bepoil biyikira, and it functionally uh, spreads into this yakira, this precious place, which is the beard. Behind the beresh, the lo isya. No, he says no. No, not why I said. He said he says the pole the yakira. Behind the beresh, the lo isya. What does yakira mean here? It means the head of the beresh, the lo isya. The the misham, the beresh, the ayin. Now here's a phrase I haven't seen, and from the beresh, the lo isya. The it spreads to another rosh, which is called the rosh of ayin, and Misham l'reisha de erik anpin. So ayin, I guess, he means atik. So he says that from there it goes into the head of erik anpin. We call echad the fimatrega. So each one of them, according to its level, nosim echad the chaveiro. They give to each other shetachtav to the one that's below it ad kana. That's a quote, but doesn't all fit together yet for me. But we're talking about incorporation. Let's try one more. It says number Dawud. Over in the Hadras Melod Biru Bakanda Tlaser, Hainu Tikuna Shlosha also, that's one particular uh tikun. Shuhu Mazel Vanake, which is the mazel, the final mazel, mazel number thirteen. So he says that goes along with the concept of thirteen. As Sheikh Abisham Misparish kavod ma'a o o ma'alas hazakan. So there starts to spread the glory of the ma'alas of the of of the quality of the zakan. The hainda rabbi yakira. That is its precious quality. 
so which is he said which is his whiteness that is his mercy and so then it comes around the maki for the hood it goes around the face Shehem trin tefuchim, which is what it, when he says the colossal upon him, he means the cheeks which have no hair on them. Tikkun yud gimel, and it goes around this area until it reaches the thirteenth tikkun. Hamis parsh biyakira, which spreads in its glory or in its precious glory. Kamol umaalach as a a kavod, excuse me, biyakira kavod umaalach as a kan ad kan. Exactly what that was, I'm not sure, but we're still going on. And so let's look over here at the number hey, which has a little bit of a rechus to it. Maybe a note. Where we're with 606, we have like three or four minutes. Read as fast as I can just to get through it. He says, Bazor, Chai, he says, the Khan, beer, the Fidarko, the Mida Betlaiser, and Musa, the Lael, Al Midas, Huta, Hivara, Ganal, Bain Sham, the Ata, Rabbi Rabba, Miss Parsh, Biakiro. Now, he talks about this and needs to be looked into. The, the, the seed, what, what is this seed anyway? The tipas has raw, which is going to be the planting seed. It comes from really the top of the head, the whiteness of the top of the head of Erekanta. So then, this is he's watching the flow of this <coughs> of this tipa. So they think of the tipa has to refer to a kernel in some way. Let's say kernel of of infinity, and that's really what you're bringing down to the nook that's later on. The Yikira refers to the place where this ultimately, because it all funnels down into the beard, into that third number 13, which you mentioned before. So if we're talking about the beard, that's what it is called. So it's called Yikira so let's see, we're really talking about the tipa, he wants to say, that the whole purpose of the beard is to really develop this tipa and to bring it down to lower place. Or kadmo, it's like the beginning. Oh, that's the tipa. That's the or kadmo. That's the light of infinity. Here's a kadmo. In my words, kamavur bepriyetz chaim. He said, "Bishul b'sod ki tipas or hazro meira or godel v'hud nim sheches min chesed atik." And it extends down from the chesed of atik. Chiver habekolu kol yud be bichivarz be galgu kesech derich. <coughs> from there extends ad ad lamata, but and doesn't change. So the tipa, whatever is in it, misparsh be yakira, and it spreads out in this place the yakira, kibisham or to or tipa sazroa, because that is where you find the the tipa for planting. So the mazel that's in the nake that's going to go into those two mazlos, and that's the nake. And then ultimately going into the Yisod of the Nukva, which is, he says, what is this Tipa? And then the deferation is the Or Kod It's the first place maybe you could identify the concept of Or, the primary, the primordial light, that that's what it is. It's the essence of that. Pagam velo beto velo chavimisa velo tikkun ad kan ayin sham, and there is a little bit of more, but I think we're out of time.